actually ended up on Ultimate Fighter. It, it, was, it was a good and bad experience for me in a way. Um, kind of opened up my eyes, felt like I belonged, you know, in the UFC. Things obviously didn't work out my way. You know, I was in a fight to get into the house and um, I went for a takedown. I kind of outside tripped and when we, when we hit the mat, I went to post to elevate the punch and uh, I felt uh, something pop in my knee. I, you know, I knew I was hurt pretty bad. I tore my lateral meniscus and uh, it was a pretty bad tear and uh, then they flew me back to Pittsburgh UPMC and they uh, did the surgery and uh, you know six weeks later I was re released training you know trying to get my spot back you know in the UFC. When I left Ultimate Fighter, they were super positive, you know, they give me really good feedback. I was the type of fighter that they were looking for, I was explosive, all that stuff. You know, basically I left Ultimate Fighter thinking, you know, get healthy, you know, hopefully they'll bring me right back. It didn't work out that way, you know, I'm here, they, I got released. All in all, Ultimate Fighter was kind of a blessing in disguise, you know. I got there, they seen enough of, of what type of fighter I was, that I think that I'm on their radar, but at the same time, it still left me with something to prove to, uh, to get back and to prove that not only the UFC, but everybody from East Liverpool and stuff like that, that, that I belong there. I wrestled all the way up through uh, Pee Wee wrestling, clear up through middle school to the high school. MMA kind of caught me because, you know, I, I never felt like I re reached my full potential with wrestling. It started off, I won by two quick knockouts, you know, and then I took a loss, and that's when I kind of realized that what it took to be a mixed martial arts athlete. It fueled me, you know, and then I went, went on an eight fight win streak, and uh, I compiled a record of 10 and 2 as an amateur, and then uh, as a pro, I'm, I'm 5 and 2 right now on a five, five fight win streak and uh, just trying to keep the ball rolling at this point. My home base team is Team Impact, um, uh, founded by Harry Stewart. This this is my home gym, you know, and you know I, I love it. I love Team Impact. You know, I, I got it. We got a tough group, and uh, I, I appreciate it. Also, I cross train with some uh, bigger gyms in Pittsburgh, uh, Pittsburgh Fight Club, FCP, and uh, you know. Being a bigger guy, it's kind of hard in a smaller area, um, you know, to get a lot of other big guys that are into martial arts and into, into MMA and training and stuff like that. So reach out to other gyms. You know, it's a 45 minute drive, but you know, it's, it's definitely tough. You know, when you got to go to Pittsburgh, come home, I, I, I spar till 10 o'clock and come home and be to work at 11 and, and, you know, work throughout the night and cut scrap. I work a physical job. So, I mean, but, but that's, that's some of the motivation that keeps driving me to reach my goal. And then hopefully one day I won't have to you know, work at a full-time job, I could be a full-time fighter. You know, I'd have to say my biggest supporters um, are, are my parents. I, I love to go out and fight and make my dad proud. You know, that's, that's kind of my motivation, you know. I you know, never want to get beat up in front of your dad, I promise you that. I set high goals and then that kind of makes me work to get there, you know. And self-motivation, I think, is, is another big thing that I kind of live by. You know, you gotta, you know, I don't have to do MMA. No one's telling me, hey, you gotta go fight. You know, you gotta, but I, it's, a, it's a passion of mine. I love to do it and I, and I motivate myself. I wanna, then when I go out and fight, I wanna be the best that I could ever be.